Hey everybody, welcome back to my sewing channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my very first pattern. It is a bifold wallet made out of all cork. As you can see, it has six card slots, two under pocket, hidden pocket areas, um, and then one cash slot. So pretty simple, straightforward design, um, easy to make, quick to come together, and very, very easy to customize because you can swap out your pocket colors, your cash slot color. Um, you can do every single piece a different color. So yeah, let's have some fun making this. Pop over to my website, www.sonar.co to purchase the pattern there, and let's get to making. To make the bifold, you need to cut out all of the pieces as listed in the cut list in the pattern. So I have two main body panels, my cash slot panel, my card slot panels, and then I have six card slots here. And I got my new brand, so that, I went ahead and did that before starting to film. Um, in the pattern, you can leave your card pockets and your panels, you can leave everything square, you can cut them at an angle. I always cut the corners of mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I provide you with the pattern piece for this piece here that I'm cutting and this here. And then it shows you how to lay them out the, with the measurements. These two I do not um, provide pattern pieces for because they're rectangles and um, pretty straightforward to cut. might notice that on my cash slot panel I also cut the bottoms um, that is not something that I talk about in the pattern but you can feel free to do that to reduce bulk in the seams and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna glue my two main pieces together making sure to line up at least two of the edges which because this will be the top this pattern is super customizable you can change any of these colors so you can have a lot of different combinations you can see here's one that I cut that I'll be making at a different time and it's got three different color quirks got razies aqua and brown so this pattern is super fun to customize in that sense as well all right, so I am going to mimic these corner cuts on this top section. And then I'm gonna move to the machine. I'm gonna top stitch all of my pieces. Um, you don't top stitch these, but top stitch all these. This is a optional step. You do not have to do this. Ready. So you'll notice that on my cash slot um, or my cash panel, I didn't top stitch the actual top of it. I did the bottom because we will catch. Sorry, my dog is back here. He's talking too. Um, he, we will catch this top edge whenever we attach um, our. I'll show you on this one. Whenever we attach the card slot panels to the cash slot, that's when we will top stitch this section. So for now, you're just going to be doing this bottom stitch. Again, you do not have to top stitch any of the card slot panels or the cash slot. I just do it for looks. I find that my customers like it, 
but you will need to top stitch the two main body panels together. So while I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and do my card slot panels. So I grabbed one card slot panel back and I'm going to take three of my card slots and I'm going to be working on the left card slot right now. Don't worry about my cat. Sorry about him. Say I'll move. Honey. Um, so the measurements are listed in the pattern, but you're going to lay the first card slot down and then you're going to stitch just along the bottom there. Trim that thread and then you're going to grab your second card slot and lay it on top of the first. Again, the measurement is provided in the pattern as to where to lay it. And so you can see right now we have two card slots and they're only stitched at the bottom. And now you're going to add the last card slot and you're going to lay it right on top. Now I'm going to take special attention to line up the right side and the bottom side of the card slot with the card slot panel back. So the right side and the bottom. We're going to trim everything else so not super worried about those but you want the other, the right and the bottom to be lined up as nice as possible. And then you just stitch just down the right side. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but on the left side panel. I have made a bajillion of these so I can eyeball this without using the pattern piece now. And then on this panel, you're going to take special care to line up the left sides, the left sides of the card slots and the bottom. And then you're going to stitch up just the one side like before. But instead of doing it on the right, you're going to be doing it on the left. So now we have two panels and they're both top stitched. The left panel is top stitch on the right and the right panel is top stitch on the left. I'm going to trim my threads here and then move back over to my sewing table. All right, so at this point I am going to tidy up all of my sides, my um, edges. And so I'm going to clip my bevels. And then I just trimmed down that one straight side there. Then I'm going to flip it and I'm also going to trim down this other side so that all of the edges meet up nice and they're all flush. And then what I like to do is glue these in place so that they don't shift later on. So I just put a little bit of glue on the outside edges here. And I'm going to trim my bevels. And now this panel is ready to go down on the cash line. So I'm going to do the same thing on this panel here. Tidy up all the edges, trim all the threads. As you can see, this pattern comes together super duper quick. So this is great for, um, I mean, it's, I guess it could qualify as a scrap buster. It really doesn't take a lot of cork at all. Um, but it comes together so quick. So it's definitely a beginner friendly pattern. You just have to have confidence and follow the directions and go slow on thick edges, thick, um, seams. Cause it does add up whenever we get to the last step, we're going to have lots of layers of cork to sew through, but if you sew slowly, usually it works out just fine. Burn my threads here. I'm going to burn 
this edge and this edge. So here's our tidied up panels here. And so at this step, I find it easier to do the glue finishing. So I'm going to do that now. And if you've never seen it, if you're not a part of my Facebook sewing group, join. There's a link below in the description box. But I go over um, the glues that I use and then how I do this and why I do this. So join the sewing group and all of those questions will be answered there. Going to trim these little threads back here. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to grab my cash slot panel. And I'm going to glue my card slots down. So I'm just going to put some glue here. You could use double sided tape if you'd like. Totally up to you. And then on this step, you just want to be sure to line up this top edge here. So this top edge. And then I try to get as close as possible on this left side edge. But if there's a little bit, or if if it doesn't meet up perfectly, I leave a little bit of overhang because then you can trim it and make it all nice and flush after we sew it down. And so the same thing on this side. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about with the overhang here. So you can see I left a little bit of overhang here because that is what I will be able to trim down and then it'll make my edges super nice and flush and even. So I'm going to move to the machine and the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to top stitch just across the top here. So I'm going to start over here on the left side, stitch all the way across and stop right here. I'm going to do the trimming that I was talking about before. I'm just burning off just random threads. And so I'm going to do the glue method across the top edge here. So again, it's just easier to do before it's assembled. Alrighty, so this is almost the last step already. So my, whenever I glue them together, I had just a little bit of overhang on the two pieces. So I'm gonna trim up this bottom line so that it's nice and even. And now we just need to clip it all together. 
So at this point you would pick which side you want for your front, which side you want for your back. I need to trim this top piece here too. Oh, actually I'm gonna finish this top section. With the glue. So now you would pick which you want for the inside piece. So if you had a double color, you know, you just have to decide which side you want for your inside. Since mine are the same, it doesn't matter. So the way that I do this is I lay my card slot panel on top of my mains and I line up or get pretty close to this right side here, paying super special care to line up both the bottoms. So the card slot panel to the outer, this is the super important um, straight line that you want because again we can trim this up. So I slide it over to the right, leaving a little bit of overhang so that I can cut off the extra and make the sides nice and flush. And then I just clip, so I clip the right side. And then what I'm going to do, so you can see there's a lot of overhang over here, and that is done on purpose. So what I do is I start to slide, or start to close the wallet and make the card slot panels slide over. And then I do the same thing on this other edge. Leave a little bit of overhang, but be very, very careful to line up these bottom edges. And so you want this bubble because that will allow the wallet to close nicely once we're all done. And so now the last step that we're going to do here for the construction is I'm going to take go back to my machine and I'm going to start sewing on the right side over here. And I'm going to sew up and over all of these card slot pockets, down across the bottom, across this gully, and back up and over. And because we've already top stitched in the first step, the outer body panel here, then we won't have to worry about that. So this is what I was talking about earlier. It can get, or it's gonna get super thick in through here, especially when you get to the um, the top card slot. So you wanna be going super slow, take your time. And what I personally like to do is I backstitch over every card slot pocket. So that way with a lot of use, your stitches don't come out and you know, it just adds more security. So when you get to this gully, um, you'll see me push, I'm going to stop sewing and you'll see me pull the wallet this way and you'll watch the entire wallet shift and then I'll be able to sew up onto this card pocket or this card panel nicely. So when you see that, that's what's happening. I'm just sewing over this excess here to keep that uh, fold. So here we go. I'm going to start pulling it this way and this back end is gonna lift up. And you want that because you want this card slot panel to stay where you pinned it down here. And if you were to just sew straight across, you would take out that entire gully. And we, again, that's a super important detail of this wallet. Trim threads, move back over to the cutting table and trim up all the edges, and then we'll be done.
And so when you trim your side edges, so here you can see this overhang that I have here. And when I trim that, I'm just laying my rotary blade right up next to the already trimmed pieces of the card and cash slot panel and using that as a guide and just lining everything up there. And that's it. So after, uh, you can tell I sew a lot. All my lighters are dead. So I'm gonna have to go find another lighter. But anyways, the last, the last step that I would do would be to burn all these edges around the sides and the bottom and then glue like I have been doing with the fabric fusion to seal the edges. Um, but other than that, that's how quick it comes together. You can see there's the gully that we created so that when it's folded, it lays nicely. You can see it's, it. Uh, I hear some people think that it's a thick wallet. However, it is just as thick as any other standard traditional wallet. You know, I didn't invent the wheel. I just wrote a pattern for how to make it out of cork and vinyl and leather. Um, so it's not thick though. I've sold hundreds of these and I've gotten nothing but rave reviews. So if you're concerned with that, I would implore you to check it out and try the pattern before just assuming. Um, other than that, I think that is about it. Alrighty, so I hope that you enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to make the Sonar Bifold Wallet. Um, information about this, I just switched over to um, a brand. I got it from Branding Irons Unlimited online. There are lots and lots of places that make brands. I just went with that one because another maker had gone there. Um, they can be a little bit pricey and a little intimidating, but once you get used to it and you learn how to use it, which I am still learning, um, it's a lot easier and just more comfortable to use. Of course, I always use Beacon Fabri-Tac glue to sew with. They're not to sew with, obviously, but to hold my stuff together um, in the middle of sewing and then uh, Lean's Fabric Fusion to seal my edges. You can also use Giardini edge coat paint. I don't know if it's gonna show up. There we go. Um, you can use that if you prefer. And other than that, that's really about it. Size 14 Microtex needle. I was sew on a Juki TL2010Q and I used Sewology thread from Hobby Lobby. So just all purpose thread. Anywho, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if there's any other videos that you'd like me to make to get us all through this quarantine time. And I hope that you are all staying safe and keeping healthy out there. And um, yeah, just keep on keeping on. Remember to look out for your neighbor. Let's look out for each other. Let's continue to take care of ourselves and everybody else. Um, and if you haven't already, you can, I'm running a buy one, get one pattern right now during this quarantine crisis that we're in. So buy one sewing pattern, get one free. So you can get all that information in the description box below. Do me a favor, click subscribe. It's the little circular narwhal that's around here somewhere. And I will link a video. That'll be the rectangular box again around here. Um, to my free sewing pattern. It's a checkbook cover, so feel free to check that one out. And yeah, be kind. <laughs>